Hi, I'm Tom Walker and this is your Attractions Management News Update. Magic Waters in Cherry Valley, Illinois has become the latest water park to join the growing Six Flags portfolio. The operator will take over the lease on the attraction in spring 2019, rebranding it as a Six Flags attraction. Six Flags is currently pursuing a strategy of acquiring existing water parks, allowing it to expand capacity and attendance, while providing a quick payback and return on investment. Sydney, Australia could have a new heritage attraction if plans to restore a network of abandoned tunnels under the city centre come to fruition. The new South Wales government has called for expressions of interest from developers interested in turning the network into a world-class attraction. Originally designed as a transport link between the city's eastern suburbs and the northern beaches, the tunnels were dug in the 1920s but plans to turn them into a transit link were cancelled during the Great Depression of the 1930s. They were used as air raid shelters during World War II. Hershey Park has revealed details of an ambitious 23-acre $100 million expansion. The main area of investment will be Hershey's Chocolate Town, which will get new attractions, dining and retail, anchored by Hershey Park's 15th roller coaster, set to be the park's fastest, tallest and longest ride. The new attractions are slated to open in 2020. One of Europe's leading museums for art and design has reopened following a five-year redevelopment. The National Museum of Fine Arts in the Swedish capital Stockholm closed its doors for the works in 2013. The works have expanded the size and number of visitor galleries, which house more than 700,000 individual objects. Spanish theme park Portaventura has pledged to go plastic-free by 2020. From January 2019, all plastic straws and bubble wrap will be replaced with paper alternatives. The company will also begin to replace disposables used in its self-service restaurants in favour of sustainable materials. The project is part of Port Aventura's wider sustainability initiative, which is moving the park to clean energy. 100% of its electricity already comes from renewables. For more details on these stories, breaking news and the latest jobs from across the visitor attractions sector, go to attractionsmanagement.com.